XPS 15, it's the laptop I use all the time. And when I went to CES and they launched this, it wasn't quite what I expected. This is a new XPS 15 two in one. It's a 360 hybrid two in one version of everyone's favorite notebook. So this isn't a proper replacement to the current XPS 15. That's gonna come later in the year when Intel's H series of processors come out. Instead, this is gonna sit side by side. It's a bit like the XPS 13 and the 13 2-in-1, which is already available. So the benefits are, well, you can spin it around, you can use it in tent mode, tablet mode, although I'm not sure how many people wanna use a 15-inch laptop in tablet mode, but you have the option. You get 1080p and 4K touchscreen options, and that also supports styluses, you can use a pen with it. So if you're a creative type and you fancy jotting down some notes or pretending you're good at art, then this may be for you. But for everyone else, I'm not really sure. There is quite a lot new here. It's got a refreshed design, it's thinner, a little bit lighter, but that also comes with some compromises. There's simply no room, Dell tells me, for full-size USB-A or even SD cards anymore. So, like the MacBook Pro, we're limited to just USB-C ports. We have one, two, three, four USB-C ports, which you can now also charge it with, so no separate DC in. Also means you can charge your phone with it. And of course, micro SD rather than full-size SD. So, if you're a content creator like me, we're gonna have to buy some adapters and get used to that adapter life. But it is a slick machine, it's beautiful. It's actually frozen. Oh no. <laughs> it's a touch screen, but it's not working. I've broken it. Ah. This is a pre-production model. It's not gonna come out till spring. And also they're not talking about final performance figures yet because this is still like a work in progress. Uh -huh. We're in. So we've got refresh design, you know, thinner bezel, change of ports, all that business. But there's a couple of the big changes. First of all, the keyboard. Because it's a thinner chassis, they've had to develop a new maglev keyboard. First impressions aren't great. It feels a lot more like the MacBook Pro 2017, but you do get used to it. It's less spongy than the current XPS 15, a lot more clacky, but I think I'll get used to it. Uh, so the keyboard, the travel has like halved, but because it's using this cool new technology, it still feels reasonably good. Trackpad, precision trackpad, still lovely to use, but really the big thing here is the specs, the internals, because we've got an Intel quad-core 8th gen chip in here, as well as AMD Vega graphics, but all on one chip. AMD and Intel have worked together, pushed NVIDIA out. So for this two-in-one, you're getting AMD Vega graphics and 8th gen processor. But overall, don't expect a huge performance boost over the current model. The Vega graphics is equivalent, they say, to around between 1050 and 1050 Ti graphics. So a modest improvement overall. So even though it's on one chip and therefore you may think, well, maybe better efficiency, better battery life, Unfortunately not. The battery is a bit smaller. We're looking at around 70 watts on this. It did go up to 97 watts on the current XPS 15, the 2017 one. So they say battery life will be around 15 hours, but that's tested at 150 nit brightness. In reality, we're probably more looking at like nine or 10 hours, which is still good, but not quite as good as the current one. So that is <laughs> the new XPS 15 two in one. It's due to come out in the spring. So I'm guessing like March, April-ish and starting at $1,300 in the US. UK prices hasn't been confirmed, but around that, I'd say. I'm not sure I would buy it. I'm quite happy with my current XPS, and I'm gonna wait for the full notebook refresh, which will hopefully come towards the end of this year with that slightly faster H processor from Intel, which just isn't available yet, hence why they've gone for the G processor in this. So this is like a halfway house uh, in terms of an upgrade. Obviously, you also get this fancy 360 hinge if that's uh, appealing to you. So that's the XPS 15 2 in 1. Let me know what you make of it in the comments below. Click that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time right here on the Tech Chat. Yeah.